you're listening to Tarakki Talks. Welcome everyone once again to a brand new episode of Tarakki Talks. You're catching me Ahalya on today's podcast and we're bringing to you a unique conversation. You know, we've spoken about a spectrum of things on the series so far and uh, right now we're going to be talking about an investment concept that might not be too familiar to many of you out there. To help us dissect this topic today is Amandeep Singh Chahal, the director of Amran Investment. Thank you so much for joining us. Amandeep it's a pleasure to have you on uh, this episode of Tarakki Talks. Hi Alia thank you so much for having me on. So you know Amandeep in preparation for today's podcast which I had to do quite a bit of preparation because you know like many investment tools this one isn't spoken about too often right in uh, the yeah. public domain but it seems like a pretty fundamental one <laughs> that people should have an idea about. Uh we're talking about the business cycle fund. So you know I'll leave it to you to set the stage for us. Could you talk to us a little bit about what a BCF actually is um and then we'll take it from there. Okay so earlier uh, history shows that businesses go through various cycles a mm-hmm. typical cycle comprises four phases a recovery expansion recession and slump basic stuff over here mm-hmm. during each phase certain sectors tend to do well a business cycle based investing deals with investing based on the economic cycle depending okay. on the phase the economy is in the fund manager of a business cycle fund decides to select the sectors and stocks which can potentially do well in that phase of the cycle so okay. in effect a business cycle fund is an open ended diversified market cap sector agnostic equity scheme following the business cycle theme so there are no limitations as to where the fund can invest right. such a fund clearly tends to have a top down approach when it comes to identifying the business cycle once the phase of the cycle is identified the next step is to recognize the sectors or themes benefiting in that particular phase and finally investments are made in the best companies in these sectors so as to maximize profits for the investors This is really interesting actually Amandeep because you know on our podcast series so far we've definitely spoken about tools that investors on the other side right can make use of but this seems like something that's very important for investment houses to keep an eye on as well as you know wealth managers themselves right can you elaborate on those various business uh, cycle phases while an investor should pay attention to this i think this is the kind of uh, theme that cuts across segments right so what are the different features of each business cycle that you said were you know the kind of basics so i love for investment purpose a business cycle takes into consideration both global as well as domestic factors so a cycle can be really divided into four distinct phases the first one is piggy backing this phase okay. is marked by a strong global but weak domestic growth okay a blue okay. sky is an ideal situation marked by strong growth for both domestic and global economies and a dark cloud the exact opposite of that it's marked by weak global and domestic economic growth mm. the fourth stage which is where we are currently is marked by weak global growth but strong domestic growth right okay yes we are currently in this business cycle i think everyone listening to the podcast probably resonates with that especially given at least the past two years in india's uh, economy Absolutely. um so does this fund take into account the impact that each business cycle has on businesses across sectors or does it just focus on the cycle itself oh no yes of course this fund looks at how each sector will be affected in a particular phase of the business cycle based on okay. this understanding the fund manager will decide on on the sectors and the stocks to invest into okay so then to take that you know the logical step further amandeep what are the major differences in the way that different businesses react to business cycles i think this is important to explore simply because it determines which sectors you know investments are made in right yeah absolutely right and uh, this is the interesting part uh, so when it comes to the recovery and the growth phase of the economy mm-hmm. the sectors which stand to benefit typically include consumer discretionary real estate metals and financials during times of a recession and slump defensive such as technology utilities pharma and consumer staples tend to be the sectors of choice 
Okay, that is interesting. And like I said, you know, uh, the kind of theme that cuts across segments, both for investors as well as for advisors. Um, so how can a business cycle fund, I think, again, this is something we brought up on the series before, is uh, risk, right? Everyone's always looking to mitigate risk. So how does this fund protect investors from, you know, unpredictable macroeconomic changes? Again, very relevant to the time that we're living in right now. I think that's a very interesting question. Given that the macros are the basis of taking an investment decision, most mm-hmm. often such funds tend to be ahead in reading a changing in the economic cycle. Okay. So hence, such type of funds tend to be very nimble in terms of portfolio allocation and is not constrained by market cap or sectors. Depending on the macroeconomic change, the fund repositions itself very fast. Okay, so that's good to know. I think agility in a fund is also always uh, very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is the investment process like, Amandeep, in a fund like this? Could you elaborate on that for us? Okay, the starting step in such a fund is to identify the macro indicators, both at the domestic and global level, such that the current phase of an economic cycle is determined. Basis this understanding, suitable themes or sectors where investments can be made is decided. Post this, fundamentally sound companies operating in each of these sectors are identified and investments are carried out post the requisite approvals. Okay, all right. And uh, finally, you know, very swiftly and expertly, thanks to you, we've reached the end of uh, this podcast today. But to ask you one last question, Amandeep, because I'm sure this will inform a lot of investor decisions as well. What is the investment strategy behind a fund like this? Okay, so this is a pure top-down approach-based fund, which is Mm -hmm. both opportunistic and nimble in sector, theme, market cap allocation. Based on the phase of the economic cycle we are in, the fund manager has the flexibility to invest in a concentration of sectors. The highlight here is within these sectors of choice, the fund manager can further diversify across large, mid and small cap names, thereby providing room to generate sizable alpha when the economic call goes right. Interesting. So it's kind of, um, you know, preparing, right, for different periods of time. That's fantastic. And I think an important strategy to have in one's portfolio. Thank you so much, Amandeep, for being our gateway into this awesome conversation. It's been great talking to you today. Thank you for being with us on Taraki Talks. Welcome and thank you for having me over. You were listening to Taraki Talks.